Hello dear viewers, friends and family and all my dear subscribers. I'm here with another episode working on my two signature in each of five journals I have on the go. <laughs> oh, it's such a work. So this time I created five pages, each for one of the signatures, the second signature. And in the video here I demonstrate how I gave five papers that I'm using, their color, and ten envelopes I'm using. I embossed the envelope and meanwhile I also show you a gorgeous little segment, a clip of a billabong that is nearby here in the bush and I just visited it the other day. So here we go. I'm here in my wet area studio, my wet area table where I quite often do some silk screen printing and splattering around as I will do today because it is though a nice sunny day it is very windy and it is semi sheltered here. So we'll do two at a time and it will involve these envelopes. So the papers will go together and the envelopes I spread out like this and I just will spray them with these sprays. Doesn't matter what spray it is, just use your spray that you have, your preferred brand. They all work, they all have their own different play, <laughs> but they all will turn out good, you'll see. Just be creative. So I start with the lighter color and I start first with the envelopes because the envelopes I will just let them dry. Just do this so you see a bit how to make colourful paper. And this is a touch of mm, it's kind of orange. Work up on the colour. My camera is not set here so I have to follow more or less my hand. These envelopes already have a lovely pattern. I yellow I did, so I did this chocolate brown. Okay. And then I did dark. The wind will just move the paper so much. Okay, so when they are nice and wet, I then put this one paper on top of the other. Sorry, you couldn't see what I was doing because I was looking not through the camera. And this one too. And just make a monoprint. Save a bit on the spray because they get used up quite quickly. So one side is always a bit darker than the other one, but nevertheless it makes very beautiful colours. 
doesn't matter. Look at that, how beautiful. And it's got a shimmer to it, which I love. And now we do also the other side of these, because the project demands that, requires it. And now again, although they look so yummy, wet, so I will just dab up a monoprint of this side. Oh yeah. And with the other one we take it here. Very nice. So, oops. We'll give our attention again to the envelopes. And do they need the other uh, other side? Yeah, of course they need this side more than that side. I think this side will actually be covered. That's the side I will be gluing down in this project. So it is more or less this side that needs the colors. Never mind, just wasted a bit of color, doesn't matter. I can change my mind and use it for something else. It can always happen. But I'm focused. I'm goal oriented. So again I start with the light color. low here have to hold the bottle really upright so the end can be squirted out the, the squirter's end is covered in the liquid and then we take a bit of the orangey type so we were here with the Cappuccino. And the dark brown. I do think these flaps will need a bit of color as well. I got so many areas in my place where I work a little bit so and I haven't got the camera set up everywhere so if I just walk by I just hung out the washing windy and sunny perfect new Airbnb guests will come next soon So if I just walk past another table, one of my work areas, I just do a bit of work. And um, yes, yeah, so that's why I haven't got the proper camera set up here. But this is how it goes. Part of the project will be done here. Okay, so I spritzed all these papers, coloured it a bit and I will continue them when they are dry for the project. This is just amazing. This for the first time I used the embossing. I don't know what you call it, whether this is the embossing folder or whatever, but to emboss an envelope and it worked out so good. So my project is anyway to have two envelopes. So I'm going to emboss the second one with the same pattern. Now there is one side that makes the intent 
indent and the other one then is the relief the the top part the embossing so for me this is going to be the front of the envelope so I put it like this and I think I had figured out that the these sizes were just right to get through here and I make it a backwards a forward a backward and a forward again and let's check and look oh I did it the wrong way though Oh, I did it the wrong way, so. So this is where, ah, that was my mistake, yeah. Here the indent is going to be the embossing on my envelope. Let's see whether I got it. So I do a forward, a backward, and the forward again. And I think this is magic. I think this is absolutely magic. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so we got its counterpart. So the indent is the embossing. And the forward. Maybe it wouldn't even need that. Just go safe. Fantastic. Then I try this one. Okay, that should work. Yes, I think. Let's see whether the magic worked. It did. But again, I have it on the wrong side. Mistakes make creative. These, of course, are the envelopes that I made yesterday, and they nicely dried. I did give them a bit of an iron because they were still a bit moist, but it will do. Magic! So I go back to my favorite. I think I had no like this. It worked. So happy with my oh look how beautiful. So happy with my C6. And you just learn to know which brands of embossing folders really work for you. And again quality costs. Yes, yes, yes. So here I have my envelopes and I shall proceed to my next step. 
here are my dried and embossed papers and envelopes and as you will remember from the intro I'm making these pages that will then fit into my signature so my next step was that I allocated to each two envelopes its page so they are set up here with color coordinated and my last papers I have to be very careful because the envelopes are not quite as wide as all the other envelopes and what I'm doing now is measuring out this is the page then that is going to be inserted but I don't need the full height of the page I just want them to be matching with the envelope so I folded it over so then I just can work with this amount this is how it will be in the signature let's say like this and here this side of the envelope will be and here this side of the envelope so what I'm doing now a bit off camera is I get back these other papers keep my pairs together and take these papers and cut them on the guillotine to this width because all these envelopes are the same width and here I take it with me because it is a little bit different I'm back with the cut paper so I allocate them again with these appropriate envelopes they got a lovely pinkish color on them on them it's a lovely mixture of the colors that I used so I like these colors with this paper this with this oh, this is more interesting and this one flutter to the ground so <clears throat> here are the allocated papers and I keep working on this now although this is the one that I made the mistake that the embossing is not here but on the reverse side so I actually will glue it down and just open the envelope here so I will do that not as the one I'm showing off here so I'm taking the next one because that's a straightforward one so we have here the signature the paper is just as long as the signature so I can safely just fold it in half and it will fit in perfectly into the signature and on one end it will be just a piece of paper to be seen what it will be done with it and on this side I would like to have these envelopes as a pocket from this side and then this is the signature here the other pocket from this side so what I'm doing now is I will glue down these two envelopes. I thought I'd do it with the glue stick because I don't want to get it too wet anymore because of the embossing. And anyway, it's convenient to work with the glue stick. I like working with the glue stick. generous and then I put it come 
find a wind in the middle. I thought like this. And then the other envelope. And this side. It gobbles up the glue because the glue gets down into the indentations and it eats a lot of glue down there. Okay. Put it this side in the middle. I was debating with myself whether to decorate the envelope before I glue them down, but then I did decide to glue it down first. It gives them more integrity, more integrated, so I know better what to decorate it with. So I will glue the other ones off camera and then I will start decorating them. But before I show you the next step, what I do with the envelopes, I would like to show you a little movie I took when I walked to that billabong. A few videos back, I talked about my morning walk. The morning walks that we do three times a week early in the morning, if we are well, which we haven't been so well lately. But we did go two days ago, and two days ago, there was Friday here in Australia. It was the most beautiful weather. It was like summer. Not one breeze. The sky was blue. It was about 25 degrees, if not more. It was absolutely beautiful. And we walked out to the billabong, and this time I did take my camera, and I made a little video that I would like to show you. I just come back with my last envelope, or no, third last envelope that I'm gluing down because I would like to show you a trick with these glues. As I just had mentioned, because of the indent, it, a lot of glue gets caught on the indentation, so it went through my glue really fast. But in any time, what I do, if I just have to fill a whole easy area with glue, I do scoop out the glue from down here because there's so much glue left down here and I just spread it then around to save a bit on buying too frequently. Well, just not to waste anyway. Wasn't that a lovely movie? That was such a beautiful walk. Okay, and then there's glue everywhere. And I haven't got my red 
Blatt hier. Das ist ja mein Finger, das ist sticky. Glue it down. There they belong. Voila! It's terrible, it's terrible. <laughs> Even my camera is getting gluey now because <laughs> I did not have this piece of cloth with me to wipe my fingers <laughs> before I touch the camera. Anyway, I'm finished gluing. They all found their spot and which is the one? This one is the one that I had to open up here because the embossing was on the wrong side but here they all got these pockets to open and this I will have the pocket like this. When I showed you this trick with the glue, I forgot to show you what I'm using. It's just a letter opener, or you could use your bone folder, or you know, a knife, whatever tip of your scissor. <laughs> no, <laughs> it gets too gluey. And just so you can scoop this out, because honestly, there is so much glue left in there. Okay, I endeavor on to decorate them, but first I will allocate them into all their signatures. If you remember, you know I'm working on five, five journals with two signatures each, and then I still have a five lot of three, journ three signatures left over to deal with, so this is this ongoing project. These are the five journals I'm talking about that I'm working on. I just bring it here so you people get acquainted with um, what I'm doing, what I'm talking about and I'm talking about finishing my five journals and more to come. Because after all, I still consider myself quite a newbie. You know, I just started realizing they are junk journals like August a year ago and I jumped straight in in producing them. Half a year later I jumped in in making videos about it because I learn a lot from that. So I consider these uh, five projects here very much my uh, grounding work. Like, you know, I, I'm an apprentice still and, um, you know, just the other day I listened again to somebody whom I consider, you know, they must already have the doctor. They said when they start, they just starting doing it. They had watched before they started, like for five or six years before that. And I totally believe that it's just, ah, oh, and it's so good to watch. Others I have heard, they must be already professors, they watched for years and now they're already doing it for five years. So I'm nowhere near that, but this is how I learn. And anybody can uh, jump in with me on the wagon of learning and be brave and just do it. So this journal, you might remember, is um, the most advanced of my five this one, this one is where I'm working the most. So we have here the second signature. And I won't find for all of them their spot. Ah, oh, this might be a nice spot. The peacock and this peacockish color. So I'll just put it in here, which is not to say I will never, might not change it. Similar color. Ah, oh, I got some of Gail Agostinelli's colors here. I might lighten them a bit up. Anyway, not to get off track. So I allocated one. Here is 
the second signature of my second journal and I just will put it here so I will remember belongs to this lot then here I have my third journal which is nowhere nowhere as far as the other ones but I do have the color theme and that's the cat's claw dyed um, uh, fabrics here and the cover that I already made with cat's claw dyed fabrics and I collaged it so here in here we have the two signatures so I just put the signature here to the signature two so I will remember when I get to work with this that this is allocated to this lot and then my fourth and fifth journal and I do think this video is going to be long enough now so I say goodbye for now I hope you enjoyed watching how my page grows and I hope you enjoyed that little walk I had at the billabong and um, bye bye I shall see you soon next time